satellite. Thank you, Dr. Marcelli, for your presentation. Now we have our last speaker, uh, Giulia Santoro, who joined Apple within their UK-based GPU Design Center in April 2019. Uh, and she earned uh, her PhD degree in Electrical, Electronics and Communication Engineering from Politecnico di Torino in uh, June 2019. Uh, before starting uh, this presentation, I would like to to say again that this is the last presentation, so if uh, you uh, would like to provide a question to, uh, to our guests, please uh, insert, uh, insert uh, it uh, in the comments of this live streaming. Thank you, uh, Dr. Sanatoli, it is your turn. Thank you. Thank you, Gianni. Okay. Um. So, uh, good afternoon, everyone. Um, as Gianni already said, so I am Giulia Santoro. I currently work uh, at uh, Apple in the in their GPU design center based in London, and uh, I am part of the hardware design uh, team. Um, I joined Apple one year ago, and before that, I uh, did my PhD in electrical, electronics, and communication engineering at Politecnico di Torino, and I received my PhD uh, in June last year. So, um, during the PhD, my research focused on uh, the investigation of configurable logic memory architectures here. The um, idea is to blend together processing unit and memory. In, in current systems, the processing unit and the memory are two separate entities that communicate uh, between each other. And this communication is a um, huge bottleneck in terms of performance and not only power as well. So here the idea was to blend, uh, is to blend them together and create a um, uh, novel computational paradigm where the data computation is done directly inside the memory. So you can think of it as an enhanced memory that has computing capabilities. Um, I also, during my PhD, took part of a um, joint international research project between Politecnico di Torino and uh, the National University of Singapore, where um, I worked on hardware accelerators for convolutional neural networks. And during this um, time, I had my uh, chance to go abroad and spend four months in Singapore, where I worked with other um, students and researchers at the National University of Singapore. Now, um, um, let's go to uh, what I really want to highlight um, in this presentation, which is what the, um, how the PhD has helped me um, in my um, career after the PhD and uh, what the PhD has left me. So, um, first of all, um, I think that the PhD is a great um, opportunity for doing some experiences that otherwise you could not do. Just think about, for example, um, the possibility of participating uh, at international conferences and um, meeting and confronting with other PhD students or professors, researchers, or even people from, um, from the industry. Or think about the possibility of uh, going abroad, spending uh, some time working in international research labs. It's a um, great opportunity for uh, um, growing not only professionally, so not just from a strictly technical point of view, but also personally. And um, I enjoyed a lot um, going to uh, conferences. Um, it's um, it's uh, where you have your chance to um, present your research and your results. And it is very, very important that you communicate this research and these results to other people in the most effective way uh, that you can, because other people may not be aware of the work, may not be experts in your same field. So if you want to 
um, highlight what you have done, you really need to be able to effectively communicate the, the research. Um, the PhD in, in general um, makes you, um, uh, it's, it, it makes you, um, it faces you with, uh, with a lot of challenges and uh, uh, complex problems. And in order to overcome and to solve these problems, you have to be open to innovation. Um, you need to be able to um, look at problems from, from another perspective, come out of your comfort zone, and um, which is not at all easy. It can be really hard uh, at the beginning, but as you go on, you, you, um, you actually enjoy it. Uh, you get creative and you really enjoy the, the research. Um, of, of course, um, while um, trying to overcome all, all these challenges, you also um, need to make decisions. And you need to make these decisions by yourself. It's true that you have your supervisor, but as Professor uh, Sonsariorda was saying, your supervisor is just a guide. Uh, he, she will guide you through the PhD journey, but you have to make the decisions to be aware of what the risks are and be fully um, aware of the decisions that you are um, making and take full responsibility. Uh, I think that all these um, uh, aspects are extremely uh, important. It's what, it's what I bring with me uh, every day. And they are extremely useful and important for whatever career path you choose to uh, follow after your PhD, because somehow it it shapes you, and not just you, also your way of uh, of thinking. Um, that's it. Thank you.